and welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fred McNeil, and joining me in the studio today, it is my great pleasure to introduce Jim Smith, Jr., CSP, President and CEO of Jim Smith, Jr., International. Jim, hey. welcome to the show. Love to be in Fran's house. What? Yay. Well, hopefully it's <laughs> in a, going to be a fantastic experience. I trust and truly believe that it will <laughs> supersede even that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, from someone who gave the world Jim Pact, mm. I know we are in for a treat. All in. All in. All in in everything we do. Okay, good. Well, the audience doesn't know you as well as I do. Sure. So take us back. Jim, mm -hmm. you have been in the training industry for a number of years. Yeah. Training, coaching, speaking, um, best known for speaking. Mm -hmm. How did you get into this industry? Mm. Mm, I know, take you back. Eight words. Eight words, okay, I'm Eight ready. words, here we I'm go. Ready. It was during my third or fourth year in my organization when I was working corporate. Mm -hmm. I had gotten two, year, two promotions two years in a row and then two years of no promotions. Then the next year, no promotion. And I was playing the victim, mm -hmm. pity parties, bring your own blues. I mean, every mm -hmm. day was a tension convention at work. <laughs> and I wanted something else. And I remember when one of the guys who I helped get the job with the organization was promoted over me. Whoa. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Drove home in mm -hmm. the pity party ambulance, wanting my wife to say, boo, boo, it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Just work harder, just dig in. Mm -hmm. uh, she gave me an eight word gift. Mm. What are you going to do about it? Mm. That meant Posting out of the marketing department into customer service for eight months, then into human resources training. Mm -hmm. I found my sweet spot. Mm. The promotions came, left that organization, went to another organization, training manager, left that organization, went to another organization, training VP, and then vendor after vendor coming in, and I'm thinking, they're not that good. <laughs> they're getting paid a lot of money. A lot of money. And I ended up talking to one and said, can we have lunch? Can we... I want to do what you do. We went to lunch and he hired me to be a subcontractor doing one session per month. And my boss at the time, Kathy Cook, who is mm -hmm. my favorite boss of all time, she gave me the leeway to do that. And I mm -hmm. learned how to do what I do now through working with him. And after doing that for a couple of years in 2002, I started my own company. Wow. Focusing on primarily story. training and then moving into the actual speaking industry as well because they're two distinct indus they, industries. They, they are two distinct industries. Mm -hmm. um, and employers today often look for both services yeah. and the services sort of overlap or intertwine. Mm -hmm. So 2002, mm -hmm. what was your company called back Gym then? Jim Pact. Jim, Jim Pack, Jim with impact, put them together and patow. Patow. Yeah, Pat and I think the, the brochures world. actually had that kind of image. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the nickname Mr. Energy. Yes. So I put them all together, and Mr. Energy was Jim Packing people. Mm -hmm. What did you love about Jim Pack? <sighs> Going inside of people and pulling that untapped talent. Mm -hmm. Then and even now, I, I talk about unleashing the beast within, mm -hmm. helping you to live and perform without limits, limitless living. Mm -hmm. And so many people go to work, or I call, I call it going through life and not growing through life. Mm -hmm. They're doing the same things day in and day out. And that was one of the things I wanted to do when I started my own company. I wanted to go back to the companies I worked for and help unleash the beast and the passion with the people that I used to work with. Because I would see them coming into the office every day. And if you've ever seen Michael Jackson's video thriller. <laughs> That's how they would look coming in. The and and right. then when it was over, Olympic style, they're sprinting to their cars. Right, right. Why go someplace you don't want to be? Right. We're working five days to live two. Mm -hmm. I don't like that math. Mm -mm. I want to live seven. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to go inside of people, pull it out. That's seven days of living every week. Wow. And that's what I love. That's what I still love. And remember, you might remember when you were younger, 
we played the hokey pokey. Yes. And what yes. was the last thing you put in? You put your right like arm, the, left arm, right leg, left leg, and the last thing you put in was you put your whole ah, self, self in, in right? take your whole self out. I'm helping people put their whole selves in to everything they do. Mm, very, very powerful. I have fun with it. Very, very powerful. You know powerful. something, Fran, I've been doing it all my life. And when I was younger, I wasn't thinking about being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. but my, my mom said, my teachers always said, Jim Smith, sit down, sit down, <laughs> stop talking, sit down, stop, mm. leave him alone, leave her alone. I'm 55 years old and I'm still <laughs> talking. I'm not sitting down. This pattern throughout my life has been reinforced and it's no coincidence that I'm getting an opportunity to do it now and to do it around the world. Right, around the world. In fact, you changed your company name from Jim Pack to Jim Smith Jr. International. Yeah. Why? What was the story behind that? Uh, I am faculty for the Rutgers Executive MBA program. Mm -hmm. And I've done sessions, their classes there in Shanghai mm -hmm. and Beijing and Singapore. And in 2012, I was doing one, I believe it was in Shanghai. And I really connected with the students. And, and one, James, half Japanese, half American, lived mm -hmm. in North Jersey. Mm -hmm. And after his semester was over, he came back home and we did lunch. And we did lunch at Rutgers. And we're sitting there and people kept stopping. Hey, Jim. Hey, Professor. Hey, Jim. Hey, Professor. Hey, Jim. Hey, Professor. And James said, you're, you're like food at a picnic and your <laughs> aunt's just coming around. I thought, Whatever. Let's keep talking. No, you, right? you, you're the brand. Have you considered, ever considered changing the name of your company from Jim Pat to Jim Smith Jr. International? Well, to mm. Jim Smith Jr. I put the international mm -hmm. one. And I said, no, that's, that's, that, that's not me. That's not mm -hmm. who I am. Mm -hmm. No, Jim Pact is fine. No, no humble Harry. Mm -hmm. It is you. Mm -hmm. I asked my team what they thought, and they said, yeah. Wow. And in 2013, we made the switch. Wow. Jim Smith Jr. International. I love it. I love it. You have written some books. I want yes. you to share those books. And I'm actually, you know, um, let's let's share the books and maybe let's even turn up the air conditioning because the, the energy I'm that working. you're generating, yeah, I feel like is is ridiculous. James Brown, ridiculous. Man. Exactly. I, you know. Okay. So show your books. Tell me um, what books you've written and why. The very first one was uh, from I average remember to that awesome. book. Yeah. Lessons for of, Living hmm. and extra Extraordinary Life. It's semi-autobiographical. It depicts mm -hmm. pretty much what I've been saying so far, where I started and where I am right now. Mm -hmm. And my second book, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here's much. a tissue. Mm-hmm. My second book was one where mm. they call it a teen book where yes. authors of significance contribute with authors who want to be of significance. Mm -hmm. And in my book, Masters of Success, Ken Blanchard, Jack Canfield, John Christensen helped out as well as 16 other authors, Masters of Success. The third one, this book, Crash and Learn, <laughs> it's on presenting speaking and engaging mm -hmm. an audience, engaging a group. And my final one is called From Average to Awesome. And in two thir 2013, that book was nominated for an NAACP Image Award. Mm -hmm. Did not win, mm -hmm. but still I had a chance to go to California, go to the ceremony, saw Kerry Washington, Gladys uh -oh. Knight, okay. Common. Okay. It, yeah, was, okay. it, it, was, it was an awesome time. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm all in. Okay, As you, you can are see, all in. I'm I love it. In. I love it. You bring the perspiration, right? <laughs> and, and the inspiration is, is, is that and the motivation. And the motivation. Okay, 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 okay. I'm I'm a suburban girl, but I can still do this. I can still do this. <laughs> all right. After we finish shooting, let's do the wobble. I want to okay. see you wobble it out. Uh, that I'm not as good at. <laughs> I know my limits. I know all my right. limits. Jim, some words of wisdom for folks that are watching. There are entrepreneurs right now that are watching and saying. I don't know if I can. Um, I'm feeling average. Um, I feel like I'm crashing and burning, not crashing and learning. What yeah. do you have for them? For several things. One, um, for them to understand that their mindset 
determines everything that happens. Mm -hmm. Thoughts become things. Mm -hmm. What you focus on grows. Mm -hmm. Energy and action follow thought. Mm -hmm. What you think about, you be about. I would encourage them to uh, focus on the outcome. Mm -hmm. Start with the end in mind. Yes. See themselves doing extremely well. See themselves doing that thing that they want to do but doing extremely well, whether it's owning their own restaurant, whether it's having their own speaking organization, but see yourself doing it well. Mm. And then grow through your experiences. Bring in your titans. Eliminate your titanic, titanics. Oh. Because you know, the Titan is <laughs> going to lift you. Titanics are going to sink you. Right. Bring right. them in. Okay. And always work on your tan. And tan stands for. Okay. I was going to say, I, I, I've got a little well, balance already. Got a good one. Okay. Okay. But T A N, take action now. Take oh. action now. Not one day, not someday, not eventually, not when I get around to it, not I'm mm -hmm. a work in progress. Now, now, mm -hmm. now. Because someone else out there is getting in front of you. That's right. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Jim. You have been taking action now. Yeah. What's coming up for you in the future? I mean, I don't, I don't know if I should even say the next five years, because I imagine tomorrow you've already got a big stack of things. I have probably my biggest challenge mm -hmm. of all time okay. coming up. Okay. It starts in September. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to school. You're going back to school. I'm going Congratulations. I'm going to begin my doctorate work. Ah. And I'm getting a DBA, Doctorate of Business Administration. Mm -hmm. My undergrad is in English. My mm -hmm. master's is in journalism. My lane is writing and speaking. Yes. I'm going to the left brain side, okay. which is not typically where I spend my time. Okay. I go after your heart. Okay. This DBA is going after your head. I want to speak my client's oh, language. Okay. I want to become more analytical. I want to talk marketing and economics, where mm -hmm. I talk people, then I want to combine the two. Mm, Three-year program, powerful. executive DBA with the Temple Fox School of Business. Ah, yes, yes. I am writing my next book called Jim's Jams, a collection <laughs> of my Jim's journals that I've been writing for the last three years. Mm -hmm. And I, I just got my CSP designation, Certified I Speaking Professional, that. which only 12% of the speakers in the country have. Mm -hmm. so this year has been phenomenal for me. Next mm -hmm. year, I'm even raising the bar. I don't say take it to the next level because that's a limit there. Take it to Ooh. levels. Okay. The next okay. level. That's where everybody plays. Okay. okay. That's crowded. I want to go to the road less traveled. So I'm going mm -hmm. beyond that. That's mm -hmm. what I'll be doing next. This rest of this year mm -hmm. and beyond. Mm -hmm. And you have helped me get there with this incredible opportunity to speak to you today. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, and you have helped me and all the viewers think about really positioning mindset first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, from average to awesome. I mean, just the titles of your books. So Jim's Jams, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Doesn't involve any dancing or cooking, right? That's up to you as you're reading okay, them. If you okay. want to shake it or <laughs> stir the butter as you're reading it, it's, it's totally up to you. But it's, it's wow. to... Uh, Wake you up, shake you up, and take you up. Okay. Yeah. I knew there'd be some rhyming and alliteration in there. <laughs> I, I knew that would be true. I knew that would be true. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jim. This thank has been you. a pleasure. How can people find out about you? Where can they find you? They can go to my website, mm -hmm. Jim Smith Jr. INTL, which is short I for international, okay. Jim Smith Jr. INTL dot com, mm -hmm. YouTube channel, mm -hmm. the social media gamut, the Instagram, the Facebook, the LinkedIn is Jim Smith Jr. INTL. That's where they can find me. Wow. Well, I have found you. <laughs> Congratulations with Temple's uh, executive Thank DBA. You. That Thank is you. really cool. And I love that working the left brain and the right brain, yeah. combining it, making an even a tighter connection with your yeah. clients. And that's very, something very I would powerful. tell our, our viewers too. The right brain has been my lane, mm -hmm. but too much of any one thing is too much. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, mm -hmm. there needs to be some balance. At mm -hmm. 55, I decided I got to get more <laughs> of that cognitive, analytical, linear thinking up here to combine the two and then go at it. Excellent. Thank Significant. You. Oh, that's and what it's about. That's right, and awesome. So there you have it, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, like Jim Smith Jr. with Jim Smith Jr. International. Join us as we continue to uncover, discover, and recover with great energy and impact. 
significant TV.